Hi guys, my name is Star. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about books and all things K-pop related. Hi, today we are doing part three of my decade project updating, going over videos. Today we'll be doing 2017, 2018, and 2019. And just like in the last video, sorry, I'm gonna like clean these up as I'm talking. Um, just like in the last video, I have most, I have most of the fillers included and we'll be just reviewing some of the things I'll be collecting for those specific years. This time we will not be sleeving and putting away all the individual place card holders that I made. This time I went ahead and just included all of them. All the ones that I already had made, I had like just gone ahead and put in here. So we will just be like, if I have a card for it, we'll be putting the cards in for them today together. And if I don't have a card for it, I'll just briefly mention it and what year it's for. Let's get into this. So this binder is very, very full now. Let me like see if I can show you guys. Like this is how full this binder is. I don't think I will keep all six years in here. Like I currently have it. Also an update for this collection is Everything is now one-sided. This is the only collection that I have sleeved only one page. Like I haven't double sleeved them. It's very weird to me. Still, I think I like it overall. And the other thing is because I just really wanna make this decade project like its own thing. Like I wanna make it different from the rest of my collections. So another way I've done that is by I'm using clear sleeves um, for my decade project only so it's really that's really interesting to me because I've never used clear sleeves I will be honest I'm not a super big fan of them I definitely prefer my like my borders but for this project I'm willing to give it a try um anything sleeved in pink means that I'm actively working on this collection it just helps me um, to differentiate like the collections that I'm actively working on versus the collections that I'm just casually working on at the moment. But okay, let me find. Okay, so here is the start of 2017. I left it without fillers, like the little brown paper fillers. So I remembered where it started. So let me just slide these in real quick. So the start of 2017 starts with Don't Say No, which is the only Girls' Generation like solo album I decided to collect. I was debating on collecting Tiffany and Taeyeon too, but I just decided to settle on this one because as I mentioned in my last video, I'm not a super big Girls' Generation fan, but I do really like this album and she is my bias, so it went without saying to me that I had to collect this one. I also decided to collect Holiday Night, so this will be version one and version two of the photo cards. I will also be collecting High Pristin. So since there are 10 members, it took me a lot of brainstorming to figure out how I was gonna do this I like was like I don't know and then each member has three photo cards in their profile so what I ended up doing was I decided to give Kayla her own page because after everything she went through the least I can do is give her her own spotlight in my binder so I put all four of her cards here I did somehow manage to not make the third like make some of the fillers just like I did with in my previous video so I think once I finish making every year, like going and doing every year, I'm gonna come back and like make sure, like fill in the blanks basically, but yeah. So I gave Kayla her own page and then I put the rest of the nine members in age order on like respective pages. So the profiles will go here, their version one cards, their version two cards, and then the version three cards will go here. I don't have any of them on the way. Like I said, I just somehow messed up on making fillers and I only made two of the three. The next thing I will be collecting for 2017 is Red Flavor by Red Velvet. I love this song. As I've been getting my boyfriend into K-pop, this song has been affectionately dubbed the Talking to Fruit song because in the music video, you know, they interview like their their fruits or whatever. And he was like, why? And I was like, I don't know, because it's cute. But here are both of those sets. I just did them in a five pattern. Fall Asleep in the Mirror, I'm... This is one of two Dreamcatcher albums I will be collecting. I debated on this one a lot, I won't lie, because Dreamcatcher is super popular now. All their older stuff is harder to find, but I vividly remember when this album came out. I It had come out like the week before I went on a trip to New York to visit like my dream college. Like I got accepted into it and I was like, 
oh my god I'm going like I can't wait and I went to like the orientation up there in New York and I listened to this album while I was in New York that entire like weekend I was up there so it just I have a lot of good memories associated with this album so I'm gonna collect it it's gonna be a slow progress not a super high priority it's probably gonna be one of the last things that I get from this project this collection but I definitely did want to get it and include it in this project the next thing we have, I do actually have cards for, and that is EXO's The War, Power of Music. I do have Kai's complete set already. So I was able to trade for Kai's complete set a while back, so I'm very happy about this. These are just, actually, this is probably the first set of cards that I was able to trade for this project, which is really exciting. As you can tell, this is a collection that I'm actively working on since it's in the pink sleeves. And I'm really looking for Suho and Dio's card. Yeah, so I really want to get their cards first and then work on everybody else's. And then I'll put the other Kai card here. And then obviously same for this set. But I really like the Power of Music. It is my favorite EXO song, or at least my favorite EXO title track. Um, my favorite EXO album will also be included in my decade project, which is Love Shot. And I somehow didn't make the fillers for Love Shot, so it's not in here, but it will be included in its year. I think it's in 2018 or 2019. So it should have been in this like project update, but um, I missed the fillers for it somehow. Okay, so next we have Coloring Book by Oh My Girl. And I have one card. I have my singular pull from the album which is this card. And I keep debating on whether I want to do them this way or this way. I think for now I'm gonna keep them this way. And if I want, I'll switch it later. But that's also part of the reason why I did the clear sieve, so that way I can still see the back of these cards. I have one card for this album. It comes with a lot more than one card, but you only get one pull in your album. I love the coloring book album. I think it's one of their best albums and I love the concept of it. I love the MV. So yeah, I really, really wanted to collect this one. I'm really happy that I have it in at least one photo card. I know that Oh My Girl has a lot of photo cards and I'm collecting a lot of their albums. And I had debated on just moving them to a collection that I actually collect since I'm collecting so many of their albums for my project. But I decided not to, one, because I don't really have a steady bias in Oh My Girl. And two is like, I love their music, but I don't really, I'm not like an, active like miracle or anything like I'm just like a casual fan so it felt a little bit like a waste to me to collect everything so that's why a lot of their albums were just added to my decade project but the next thing we have is we have um SF9's Oh Solo Mio everybody knows how I feel about this album this is my love my life my bread my everything I absolutely love Oh Solo Mio this is my favorite thing and I, since I'm no longer actively collecting SF9, I really wanted to make sure that I put my two favorite albums from them in my decade project. So obviously Oh Solo Mio is one of them. This is my song. This is everything. This is the song that got me into SF9. This is the song that got me into collecting this photo card set. I love it so much. I like the gold set, but the set that I love the most is the white set because they have their cute little moon noodles on them. And again, another reason why I'm kind of happy that I switched over to the clear sleeves again so I can see them. So we have Young Men's, we have Dawans, Rowan. I'm making really good progress on this. Most of these were just like leftovers I had from when I was collecting OT9 because even when I stopped collecting OT9, I knew I didn't want to get rid of my Osolomio cards. The next thing I will be collecting is The Awakening by GFriend which is their um, fingertip album. I really, really love this one. So, so what I decided to do for this album is do a nine page spread for the first page with their six kinos and then a diagonal line for the group cards that come with this album, both the kino and the two for the regular albums. And then I just did six pattern spreads for the other two sets of cards. Yeah, it's only and then this I'm pretty sure starts 2018. So the first thing that I'll be collecting for 2018, which is which is Hello Venus's Mystery of Venus. This is their album with the title track Mystery. Mis this album has the title track of Mysterious. It's so good. I love that one. That's the one where Unu is in the music video. So for any Astro fans, um, you've probably seen it because Unu is in it. 
but yeah, I really like this album. It has two versions of the cards. There's six members. I just did a six member layout. You'll see that I try to either do a six, a nine, or an eight pocket spread because those are my preferred, but it doesn't always work like that. Next thing I will be collecting is Boyhood. I, I somehow just missed an entire member when I was making the placeholders, but I do like this will be huh, Hansel's spot once I make his fillers, but yeah. So I don't have any of the lenties, but I do have some of the just regular album cards for this. Oh, I didn't take out Marco. Okay, but for this, like the MV set, I have Field Dogs of Day Ones. And I also have Marco, which I didn't take out the filler for. You will also start to see that I ran out of green sleeves, but I didn't want to buy more green sleeves just because... Once I get all these cards, I won't be using these green sleeves for like in this binder anymore. So it felt like a waste to buy more green sleeves. So I didn't. It does bother me again a little bit because you can see through, but I'm getting used to it. So that's all I have for this set. And then for this set, I only have one and that is Phil Dogs. And his card is going to be backwards on the back because he took his thing sideways and when they printed it, they printed it backwards, in my opinion, because I think it looks better in the binder this way, but it does mean that the back is upside down, but I'm just not going to focus on that or it's going to drive me crazy. I don't know, UMB was a boy group created from the survival show The Unit, which is my favorite survival show. It is the only one that I watched from episode one until the very end. With all the produced shows, I loved them and I watched most of them, but I would usually like was like weeks late or I just binge watched them after they finished. Like this one I waited every week or every two weeks technically I think it was for each new episode to come out. Okay so that's 2018. Then in for also for 2018 we have Woman by none other than Miss Boa. I showed my boyfriend the choreography for this video for this um song the other day. It was really fun. I love Woman. It's one of her best albums in my opinion, so I had to collect it. And then we have an exciting thing, which is Chunga's Blooming Blue. This is my favorite Chunga album. It is her best album in my opinion, and do not at me. But I have two of the three cards for this collection, and I pulled my favorite of the three. I pulled this one, but this red sunglasses one where she's like in that lifeguard outfit from the MV, it's so hard to find. I cannot find that and I've been looking for it basically all year. But I do have these two which is really exciting. So this collection is almost done and it's probably my closest to being complete in my decade project at the moment. Next we have Early Flowering which I do have cards for. They're just not at the top of my stack. There we go. We have Early Flowering by none other than Hotshot. This was their last album as a group and that is still so sad to me. This album is fantastic. It's one of my all-time favorite K-pop albums. They have a song on this album called Better. It's so good. So good. Listen to that song. Love that song because it's so good. Also, that's not where this goes. But it just has a two like two cards for this photo card set and these are just my two pulls from the album. I haven't gotten any cards outside of my pulls. And then I do have one card for this album too, which this is from Nine. Um, so this is the song with Love Bomb, on, Love Bomb on it by From Us Nine. I love this song. I love this album. This might be my favorite release from 2018. This song was just so good. I thought Love Bomb was amazing. And I was able to trade somebody for this card already. I don't own this album yet, but I was able to get a trade for that card. So that's pretty cool. And that's all I have for the Promise um, albums right now, or this Promise album right now. It's the only Promise album I'm collecting too, so that's a little sad. Next we have the Thumbs Up album by Pentagon. I love, love, love Naughty Boy. It's so good. Next we have Like a V. It's iconic. There was no way I could not choose it. I did just do these as a five pattern because I couldn't think of any other way to do them at the time. Then we have Top Seed by none other than Infinite. I, this is one of my favorite Infinite albums. This is so good. If you've never listened to the Top, Top Seed album, you really should. The song Synchronize off of this album is just magnificent. I already own this album. It was gifted to me by my good friend Kathleen. So now I just need to collect some of the photo cards for it. I won't go too much into a spiel about how much I love Infinite this time because I did that in the last video, but I really do love Infinite. Next we have Unity 
which is the girl group that was created from the survival show that I was talking about earlier, the unit. And I do have some of the cards for this. I'm supposed to put the, hold on, I messed this up. No, okay, I got, I confused myself, I remember now. Okay, so I used to collect just Hyunjun, Hyunjo. Um, and originally I was gonna keep her cards on like the spread I made, but I decided not to do that. And instead I'm gonna keep her line cards and collect OT8 for the, for the beginning of the end cards. So these are the ones I have for the yellow set. And this is, like I said, her line card. I only have two for the pink set. And then for the yellow set, put her line card again in the middle. And then I have all of Makne line for the yellow set. And of the two groups, Unit T and Unit B, I think Unit T was my favorite. They were my like one of my old girl groups along with Gugadon at the time when they debuted. So yeah, I was really sad when like basically them and <laughs> Gugadon were going through all that stuff in the past. It was really sad for me, but here we are. We have persevered, we have made it through. Next thing we will be collecting is Key's face album. I love this album so much. This is probably his best album and nobody can at me. I love the face album so, so much. Then this gets into 2019, I'm pretty sure. So next we have White Wind by Mama Moo. So I put all of their like selfie cards on this page and then like the little color, like cue card things will go on this page. Then I'll be collecting Bye by Dong Woo from Infinite and all five of his selfies will go here. Next thing we have is um, SF9's Narcissist album, which I think is also like one of the last things I have cards for. I think I have a few cards for a few other things, but this is the last thing I have a lot of cards for. Also, this was supposed to be Temptation. I don't know why I wrote Emptiness for, or Narcissist version. It's the Temptation and Emptiness version. So I wrote the wrong name, but we're just gonna ignore that. For the Temptation, for, for the temptation version, I have Young Bins and I have Down One and I have Chani that I didn't take out his placeholder for. And then for the narcissist, oh, this was, this said this empty. Oh, I put it, I did it backwards, hold on. There we go, that's right. So I don't have a lot for this album compared to like Oso Mio, but I do have a little bit. And I also decided to click their mirror cards for this because I figured it wouldn't be too difficult to do that. So I have Young Bin and Down Wands at the moment. The next thing I will be collecting is Lewook's um, Drunk on Love album. I love, love, love this album. We'll also, I'll also be collecting Red Velvet's um, Reve Festival Day 2. So this is how I decided to set it up in a, um, a pattern for each of the members. So we have Irene and Sulgi on this page. And then we have Wendy and Joy on this page. And then I gave Yari her own page because I thought this would save space. Um, I'm not really sure if it did or if I'm just imagining it, but that's how I did it. And plus Yari is my, Yari and Joy are both technically my bias, but I technically say that Yari is my main bias. So I also just kind of like decided to give her a page of her own to spotlight her a little bit. Then we have Lock in LOL by Wakimeki. This is their Picky Picky album. And I just did eight pocket layouts for their four versions. And I don't have any of these cards yet either. Next, I do have a card. I have one card for this collection, but this is my, this is Nature's I'm So Pretty album. And again, I did an eight pocket layout for the members. And then there are four group cards. There's four versions. There's four sets of cards. So each of the group cards went in the middle to make a complete nine pocket page. Card I have is this Loha card, I don't know why I put in a thing for it again. I thought I took everything out when I was um, setting them up, but I guess I missed some. So I have this Loha card. Okay. And then I will also be collecting the arrival of Everglow. Shikan was my number one on um, Produce 48 and I want to collect Everglow, but they're just, I just feel like I'm too late. So I just wanted to add a look. I just wanted to add some of their albums to my decade project. Plus some of their albums are hit or miss for me. Like I like a lot of them, but there are some that I'm just like absolutely not to. So yeah, but I did the version one here 
in version two here. And technically now Shein isn't my only bias in Everglow. Anda is also my bias. Like they both are my biases. So yeah. Then we have Let's Play Cherry Bullet, which is their debut album. And because this is when they originally had 10 members, I did my top four on this first page. It Four's pink and red card are here. Remy's pink and red card. And they're in age order based off like from my bias order. So Bora first, then Remy, then Mire, and then Kokoro are here. And then I did the other six members on a like two pages for their cards. So then I have Haiyan's, Yujin's, and Jiwon's pink cards, and Cheren, Mei, and Linlin, as well as their red cards here. If that makes Next, I do have something for this collection, which this collection technically should be in pink sleeves. I just ran out of pink sleeves because my boyfriend also. So the reason why I run out of sleeves so often is because I'm not the only one using these sleeves. My boyfriend also uses um, sleeves because he sleeves his Pokemon collection. So we constantly are running out of sleeves because we're both like start like collect. We're both sleeving our collections differently now, so we have a lot of certain colors, but we don't have a lot of other colors. But yeah, the next thing I'm gonna be collecting is City Lights by Bip Kian. This is this is his debut solo album, right? Yeah, I love the solo album from him. I think it's fantastic. It is his best one in my opinion. I love this one a lot. This is my pull from the album. And this, like I said, this should be in pink sleeve. So I am actively collecting this one. I'm actively collecting five albums at a time. And then once I finish one, I'll add a different one in. So yeah, I'm looking for these three. And any of the ones that I'm actively collecting that I mentioned that are in the pink sleeves or should be in pink sleeves, um, I will buy for those cards. Um, so if you have them and you would like to offer them to me, I will put my trades and sales Instagram down below. Um, just let me know. We're getting to the end of 2019. Next, we have Undercover by Ace. Just did a member segment. So each member has seven cards. So I just did a seven card or a second, a seven pocket layout for each of them instead of doing seven five pocket spreads. So we have Dong Kyun here. We have Jun, Wow, Kyung Kwan, and Chun. And I don't have any of these cards yet. So they're all blank. As well as the last thing for 2019 is Light Us by One Us. So this is their Valkyrie album. Their song Hero is one of my favorite songs in K-pop of all time and it's on this album so I had to collect it. If you've never listened to One Us's song Hero and like listened to the lyrics and like really like took in what that song is talking about, I highly suggest doing it. I cried the first time I realized what that song was about. So I added that one and it's the last one for 2019. And like I said, since this binder is so thick, I probably won't keep 2019 in here. Um, I will probably put it in the new binder that I'm gonna have to get to finish up the other years, but I'm also not completely sure yet. I might just wait to see how the binder kind of looks as it starts filling out. Cause for now I don't have a lot of cards in here. So none of them are gonna get like damaged or anything from being like this. But as I get more cards and if I think it's damaging them to be in here, I definitely will like rejig things, move things around. But that does mean the next time you see a video about my Decade Project binder, we will be in a different binder. We will be starting over. But if you've been paying attention, you would also know that we only have to do um, technically three more years at the moment because I would have to do 2020, 2021, and 2022. And 2022, I'm still like picking out groups because obvious or like albums that I want to collect since it's obviously not the end of the year. But there are, but I do have enough picked out to where when I do that next one, um, there will be a good bit of things for 2022. And once I make these videos and once the things get added to my binder, um, I can't change them. So I'm not going to constantly be like, I don't want to collect this album anymore. I want to collect this one instead for like 2017. Like once I film one of these part videos, I can't change it anymore. That is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I will be collecting for 2017, 2018, and 2019 for my decade project. Oh, and one last thing I did want to mention, you probably already can tell, but I will only be uploading once a week again, just because uploading twice a week was just not working out for me. It was way too stressful. So I will only be uploading once a week, but that means I will see you guys next week on Friday for another video. Bye until then.